Men with Breast Cancer, An Epidemic of Ignorance in Society by Johnny Erickson. According to Judy C. Bohe, a medical doctor and breast surgeon at the Mayo Clinic, breast cancer is recognized as the uncontrolled cell growth in the cell tissues of the breast, and, is, and it is the most common cancer worldwide. Bohe further states in the Mayo Clinic article Breast Cancer that although women more commonly contract the disease, 1% of men receive breast cancer annually. This means that treatment for male breast cancer is extremely rare, and very little information exists to guide and assist male patients with breast cancer. Moreover, Marisa Fors, an oncology social worker, describes a man having breast cancer as a social stigma that women do not experience. But in the cases I reviewed, it has become evident that a tremendous amount of resilience has been exemplified by males who battle this disease and undertake its challenges. My argument addresses the following question. To what extent have males diagnosed with this disease encountered social stigma brought on by this disease? In a scholarly article published by Science Direct, William L. Donegan and Philip N. Redlich, both medical doctors, identify that the treatment of men with breast cancer has been borrowed and guided from the treatment of women whose more significant numbers allow for more clinical trials. This means that men are solely dependent on treatments based on the anatomy and physiology of women, which puts men at a disadvantage in receiving treatment for this disease and ultimately affects their prognosis. There is no doubt that going through all of this is incredibly challenging for men who have been diagnosed with breast cancer and support is necessary. Berkeley International indicates that cancer support groups enable people to share valuable coping strategies from sharing a common illness. However, support for men with breast cancer is limited. According to Mike Kipling, Jane Rapp, and Keith Callahan, affiliates of the University Hospital of North Durham in the United Kingdom, this harsh social reality leads to men with breast cancer resorting to concealment and isolation as coping strategies since negative stigmas arise from having breast cancer as a man. These negative stigmas include carrying a so-called women's disease. Merritt Bauer and three other experts in gynecology report in a study from the peer-reviewed journal Carter that men have to deal with false men with breast cancer have to deal with false accusations about their illness since breast cancer is universally perceived as a women's disease. Thus, handling all the social strife of having breast cancer as a male is a considerable burden due to social stigmas and false notions. In fairness to women, one aspect of dealing with breast cancer that cannot be overlooked from their perspective is the removal of a woman's breast and the immense resilience required to handle this troubling experience. This is because, quote, the breast is the most important external identification of femininity and the loss of a breast can have devastating psychological effects on a woman, uh, end quote, as, as clinical nurse Kathleen Spencer states. This major operation utilized for women with breast cancer is known as a mastectomy. It is applied as treatment for all types of cancer, according to the Cleveland Clinic. But despite the obstacles women with breast cancer may encounter mentally and physically, males with breast cancer experience the same adversity. Professor of Breast Cancer Studies, Peter Barrett Lee, and his colleagues report that the negative body seen in women also is identified in men treated with surgical mastectomies. They state that men after surgical mastectomies report body image discontentment and a reluctance to disclose their chest in any form, whether without a shirt or with clothes that increase the chest transparency. This is because strength and power are discerned as inherent traits in men. Specifically, men associate their chest with masculinity. Therefore, similarly to how women lose a part of their body so crucial to femininity, men with breast cancer likewise lose a part vital to masculinity. With all the roadblocks and challenges that male breast cancer patients face, Hope can appear non-existent for some of these patients. This is unfortunate since hope is a necessary coping skill in cancer patients. Based on a thesis from Martha J. Holt, a graduate of Colorado State University School of Nursing. With little hope, significant commitment and perseverance are necessary to battle this deadly disease. But it is not uncommon. For example, one male breast cancer survivor accredited his newfound hope to a simple change in lifestyle. This individual, is Matthew Knowles, the father of prominent pop star Beyonce. In his interview with Good Morning America, he noted that he stopped consuming alcohol, increased his exercise, and began meditating to save his life. 
activities he stated were previously, quote, unimportant, end quote, before his breast cancer diagnosis. His embarrassment of carrying a so-called women's disease became manageable due to his tenaciousness to adapt. Not unlike Mr. Knowles, Nelson Mandela, a South African apartheid activist, also reshaped his lifestyle when he was placed in prison and faced what appeared to be a hopeless situation. At the, at the time of Mandela's sentencing, timepieces and watches were restricted. Thus, inmates were prevented from acknowledging time. Mandela knew that, quote, losing a sense of time is an easy way to lose one's grip and even one's reality, even one's sanity, end quote. So he created a calendar on the wall of his cell to restore his access to time. This simple idea made his time in prison more manageable. The American journal Managed Care points out that an individual named Kirby Lewis also demonstrated similar strength to survive metastatic breast cancer, the most lethal state of the disease. Initially after his diagnosis, Lewis was forced into an isolated state. He had to get rid of his first doctor after his doctor told him, quote, men don't get breast cancer, end quote. Then he had to undergo several chemotherapy treatments con to control the reoccurrence of cancer he faced. However, Lewis handled this adversity in a resilient manner. He realized that nothing could be done to change how things would turn out in his life, but he decided what mattered most was that he would maintain his faith and live his life to the fullest. And this mindset propelled him to accept his faith, which enabled him to survive stage four breast cancer. This attitude is not dissimilar to what associate professor of social work at the University of South Florida, Gatel J. Rahil, and colleagues found when they studied the resilience of Haitians following the 2010 earthquake. Like Lewis, the Haitian children demonstrated an acceptance of harsh conditions as they returned to find survivors after the devastating earthquake. They depicted a toughness to bounce back from their circumstances and return to helping others. Lewis also demonstrated this reversion to normal activities after the immense trauma he was put through from his breast cancer diagnosis. This adaptation shown by both Lewis and the young Haitian survivors enabled them to be resistant in the face of adversity. In conclusion, while the incidence of breast cancer among men is exceedingly rare, what I have discovered is that those stricken with the disease exhibit tremendous resiliency in the face of such adversity. Thanks, Johnny. I've got a couple of questions for you, and then I'm going to wrap this up. Okay, for the first one, how did your research question evolve as you went through the research process? Originally, my research question was focused on females with breast cancer, but as I researched more, I found that there was huge inequality surrounding men in this disease, and um, it started off as how are treatments for men not as advanced as treatments as women for breast cancer, but eventually it focused around the social stigma and how this social stigma, because they have to go through the social stigma, men with breast cancer have to be resilient. And they are resilient through many of the examples. Terrific, well done. Uh, and as a follow-up to that, what additional questions emerged as you engaged in the research? Well, some additional questions that emerged are, Will the treatment for men with breast cancer continue to improve? Um, it's, it's very important that their treatment is up to date and it's regularly tested since men have a different physiology than women. And also, as far as the support goes, will there be more, more attention to support for males with breast cancer? Um, and yeah. Fantastic. 